Hey guys, it's MH Finn. If you're new to options trading, you most likely have heard the term implied volatility. Every forum, discussion post, and analyst is always mentioning it when they're talking about options. So what is it and how does it affect you as an options trader? Also referred to as IV or vol, implied volatility is one of the major deciding factors in the pricing of options. It's entirely based on probability, meaning it reflects an estimate of future prices. It's important to remember, however, that implied volatility does not help predict the direction of prices. A high IV simply means that a stock is more likely to have a large price swing. This could mean it goes very low or very high, or both. Low volatility, on the other hand, just means the price is not likely to make violent, unpredictable moves in either direction. Although many traders will use IV as a tool when making investment decisions, it's important to note that there is no guarantee an option's price will follow the predicted pattern modeled by implied volatility. At the same time, it does help you in understanding market opinion, which in turn shapes options pricing, something IV represents pretty well. When the market is doing well and prices are moving up, IV is usually lower. However, when prices decline and the market is bearish, IV increases. This is largely due to the standard belief by investors that bearish markets are riskier than bullish markets. But what does all this mean for you? What variables are affecting this measure called implied volatility? Well, there are a number of factors that go into it, but the two major ones are demand and time value. When demand for a particular stock or security is high, its IV tends to increase with it. Higher prices because of demand cause risk to rise as well as premiums. The inverse is true when demand is low. Implied volatility falls and the options price become cheaper. The time value of options or the amount of time left until the option expires is another major influence. An option that's expiring relatively quickly will have a low IV, while the one expiring well into the future will have a high IV because there's more time baked into the option's price, leaving it exposed longer to time, giving it a higher chance to experience changes and react to market events. Unfortunately, you will not understand implied volatility just from watching this video or any other 5-10 to 10 minute YouTube tutorial. To get a grasp on it, I encourage you to read the linked resources I have put in the description. IV affects options in so many ways. For one, each listed option has a unique sensitivity to IV changes depending on a long list of variables. Strike prices, vega, and a whole slew of other parameters are going to impact how much of an effect IV has and this video is more of a general overview of the concept. The general consensus is to use IV to your advantage by buying when it's low and selling when it's high. But of course, like many other buy low, sell high strategies, this is easier said than it is done. If you like the content I'm pushing every day, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And thank you guys for watching.